Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and we have what will probably be a relatively easy puzzle because it's another 6x6 six six puzzle. Hence, you know, the name in the thumbnail here, Six Nights. Although that's my attempt at translating the actual name of the puzzle, which we'll take a look at now. So I'm going to pronounce this as Seis Caballos, maybe Spanish for six horses. I'm interpreting that as six knights, by the way, just because of the rule set, which we'll take a look at now. So the digits one to six must appear once in every row, column and region. That's essentially normal Sudoku rules. It's just it happens to be a six by six grid. So every row, every column and every box. Now we have Kropke dot rules. So black dots are in a one to two ratio, such as these here and white dots are consecutive, such as these here. And now this is why I'm interpreting it as six knights. Digits may not appear a chess knights move away from the same digit. And, I'm, you know, knights move um, Sudoku variants is probably one of my favorites. But essentially, if you imagine this is a one here, not only can we not place it in the box or in the row or in the column, you need to play essentially a knight's chess which can essentially advance two and then one step or two steps to the side and then one step forward. So essentially now none of these can also be a one. Now I, I can imagine in a six by six grid, this is immensely powerful. It is immensely powerful in nine by nine, let alone six by six. Now, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below as per usual. And with that said, let's restart the clock and see how we get on. So typically, whenever I see black Kropke dots that are three in a row, I immediately know that this is a two, four, surrounded by one, two, four, and eight. But you're gonna say, sleuth, we can't have eight. It's only the digits one to six, so these are not eight. This is a one, two, four run. In fact, it can only be a two in the middle, not a four. And that's the first digit, kind of within 30 seconds. This has to be three and six. You can see whatever this one four is, it's not in here, it's not anywhere else in there, it's here. And that's second digit in the grid. We need three six in here as well. And maybe it's coloring time, I'm gonna say. Um, the reason I'm saying that is, let's assume that's green, yellow, orange, red, is essentially this, one here can see knights move away. That's red, that's green, that can see this one. This is, I said green, didn't I? Then handily selected yellow. Three, six, so normally you would say two, three, four, and five, except the two can be seen by knights move. That's a two, can it even be a three? No, it can't be. So three, four, or six, five. Can't be a five. Look at this beauty. So if I put a five in here, where would the five go in box six? Can't be here, normal Sudoku rule. Can't be there, knights move away. Can't be there, knights move away. That's not a five, that's a four. I don't actually know if this is a yellow or purple just yet. I just know it's a four, therefore this is a three. That's a six, that's a six, that's a three still don't know what these are, uh, which is a shame because I know I have two and five, which are clearly not contiguous. So the two five are here and it's either one, two. Actually, I do know it's not a four because look at where four goes. Same challenge that I just had with the five. That's got to be the four. That's got to be the one, four. And this is now a one, two pair. That's a five. And we're off and racing, really. Um, what would be easy? You know, something about just chess knights moves. It makes it immensely easy. It's just, um, no, yellow. And that's all the fours done. Five. I mean, this is three or four, sorry, three or five. Let me just fill these in quickly so we don't forget that. 
and it's still three or five. There isn't, there is no knight's move that can see this cell, so we don't actually know. Um, I do know that three is in here. Five is on here, and therefore, oh no. I was going to say five must be on there. That's not true. Five could be here, and it is here. Because you can see, if I put five in there, I need to have a four or a six, neither of which is possible. Again, because of knight's move, it sees both of this, and four is already in the box. So that's five, that's three. This is one, two, and six. Not one, not two, not two. This is the two. This is not the six. This is the one. This is the six. This is three or five. That's three. That's five. Um, we need one, two, and six. That's not... Well, I'm just going to fill it in first. One, two, and six. Clearly, this is the one, two. The six is not going to somehow get connected to both of these. Um, this is not a one. You can see that knight's move. Two, one, two, one, three to finish the column. We need six and five. That's not six. That's the six. That's the five. We need one and two. That's not the two. That's the two. That's the one. You know, I'm just doing some quick knight's moves. Um, we need one and six. That's... No, no, one and five. It's just about to get into trouble there. This five sees this. That's the five. That's the one. Six is not here. Six is not there. Six is there. Um, three and two. Under five minutes. So, I mean, I did imagine it will be relatively easy given it's six by six, but it just shows you just how powerful chess knight's moves can be. Um... And just a little bit of colouring, just to give you sort of a bit of a break into the puzzle. But once you get going, it's um, it really does go very quickly. And let's um, finish colouring, of course. And that's today's solve. Hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to reading your comments. And I mean, given how short this is, I may end up posting yet another video later in the day. Um, you know, when it's under five minutes, I think it deserves another video. We, we need something that can sort of take 20, 30 minutes to be enjoyable. Hope you enjoyed the puzzle. See you back for the next video. Bye for now.